Florida is one of the first states in the country to make moves against squatting. Just this week, Martin County Sheriff's Office spoke their concerns as people here locally say they've had a deal with the crime. All right, so here we go. Help is on the way for people in the Sunshine State that have fallen victim to squatters. They claim everything to be theirs. That's the biggest thing. Josh Bradley from Port St. Lucie says he bought property from a woman that had inherited a house in Fort Pierce. She was scared to death of the situation. You know, she didn't know what to do. A fear that came after finding six people squatting inside, <laughs> causing her to sell the property to Bradley, a real estate agent who's dealt with squatters in the past. Do you ever feel like squatters retaliate when they know they're about to get kicked out? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So in this particular property, they broke multiple windows. We shut the power down. They break a window. It's Squatting is a crime where people illegally move into a vacant property, which can lead to a lengthy civil court battle to get them out. It's costing a lot of people thousand, two thousand dollars a month to hold these houses. And then let alone if they're not getting rent and people are destroying it. It's costing people a lot of money. And it's an issue Governor Ron DeSantis is hoping to fix with this new law. Providing very swift remedies because what the squatters know is even when they're in the wrong, it's a massive process many times before they can be evicted. Uh, and a lot of times the process is very expensive. Here's how it works. Property owners will now be able to request law enforcement immediately remove a squatter if they entered illegally if they've been told to leave and haven't, and as long as they're not a tenant involved in a legal dispute. The new law increases penalties, a second degree felony if squatters cause more than $1,000 in damages, and a first degree felony for knowingly advertising a fake home sale or rental. Being able to have them arrested for damages or have that, that consequence possibly over their head is, in my opinion, is, is great because they cost me a lot of money. Florida's anti-squatting law is expected to go into effect in July. Reporting in studio, I'm Joel Lopez.